I thought I used a very little, but the way I burned through these, I don't know. I don't know. But first, a word. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Michelle Jama, and here we cover all things hair care, skincare, law, and living your best life. Today I am back with a very quick video about Creolescence Haitian Black Castor Oil. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing what my results were when using these oils, keep watching. Okay, so I have been using the Creole Essence hair oils for a little over a month now, a month and a week to be exact. I actually purchased two two ounce bottles from the Creole Essence website. I actually got the Rosemary Mint and the Lavender Hibiscus hair oils. I got these ones because as you know, peppermint, rosemary and lavender are said to help with promoting hair growth and hibiscus has great conditioning properties so i felt like these oils would be best suited for addressing my hair needs which are obviously hair growth and basically conditioning and moisturizing my hair and so that's why i purchased these two bottles so sorry for the noise in the background okay let's get into the pros okay so the very first pro is that i do think it helped with promoting hair growth like i said i've been using this for about a month and a week and i feel like over that time i got around an inch of growth that being said i did take hair vitamins i did you know take my msm i was working out which helps with stimulating blood circulation to the scalp and all that kind of stuff and then i did give myself a scalp massage and, and all those things and so obviously all those things also contributed to you you know overall hair growth within that month but I do think that this was a contributing factor as it was my the growth oil that I was using so yeah I do think it helped with promoting hair growth I will say that this product also helped with like making my new growth feel a lot softer so not only did my new growth grow in thicker but it also came in softer than I'm used to so that was a plus um, another thing that I liked about these hair oils is that the scent isn't super pervasive like yes you can definitely tell that there is a scent you can smell the peppermint you can smell the rosemary you can smell the lavender but i don't feel like it was super overpowering i felt like i only noticed it was there when i went to like style my hair or right after applying it onto my scalp in the morning and so i like that these oils didn't have a super overpowering scent or anything like that so that, another thing that I really liked was that this oil does not drip all over your face and neck after you've applied it to your scalp. So you know how sometimes when you like oil your scalp, you have like the oil dripping all over your face and neck. This oil does not do that to you, literally absorbed into my scalp as if there was nothing there like it's it's crazy how there's no drip factor to this oil and I really appreciated that because I hate having oil run down my face and back. Am I the only one who hates that? I really, really hate that. Um, another thing that I thought was pretty cool was pricing. I actually felt like these oils were pretty affordable, especially with the sale. I bought these oils around their Black Friday sale. Normally they retail for $18, but they're currently on sale for $15. And I've noticed that this company does run a lot of promotions. And so if you're looking to purchase them, you, you can go onto their Instagram page and they'll probably be some kind of promotion that you can use to get some amount off if you are looking to purchase so yeah those are all of my pros if I had to choose between the rosemary mint and the lavender hibiscus I would definitely go for the rosemary mint simply because it has that tingling sensation that I enjoy you guys know me if you guys have watched my previous videos you know that I live for the tingling sensation that come from peppermint infused or menthol infused products and so hands down I'm gonna go with rosemary mint every single day however I do love how calming the lavender hibiscus smells and so I don't know if you're somebody who oils your scalp twice a day maybe you use the lavender at night and the rosemary mint in the morning but if I had to pick I'm definitely going with this one okay let's jump into cons so my first con is i really wish that this oil came with the you know twisting applicator tip instead of a dropper i don't know there is something about 
the consistency or the viscosity of this oil that just doesn't work well for me. For some reason, whenever I want to use this product with the dropper, it would always spill out. Like it was just not easy to apply to my scalp. Like I felt like I was wasting a lot of product. And so the way I worked around it was I either transferred it into another applicator bottle with a twisting cap, or I would just remove the dropper and then literally apply the oil to the tip of my finger and then apply it to my scalp. And so if it's one thing that they could fix on that is potentially consider getting using one of those twist open applicator tips instead of the droppers because I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe I just don't know how to, I don't know. Actually, I've used quite a few hair oils and I have never really had this problem. For some reason with this one, it just, the way that it drips, when going to apply it you could potentially lose like you have to be very careful like you have to literally rub the product several times and so it makes application a little you know messy the second con that i have is i wish that these bottles came in bigger sizes um i don't know what it is but my scalp drank this stuff and i literally ran through these bottles like i got through two entire bottles in a month and a week which I think is kind of crazy. But then again, I also realized I could be super heavy handed with products and just using a lot more than is necessary. I thought I used a very little, but the way I burned through these, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, so I wish that they came in bigger bottles and they might come in bigger bottles, but when I went to check, all I saw were the two ounce bottles and so that's what I used. Would I recommend Creole Essence? Absolutely. I think that this is a nicely formulated hair oil. Like I said, I like the consistency of it. I like that it doesn't drip on my face and neck after applying it to my scalp. I like that it does help with promoting hair growth. I love that it doesn't smell crazy or anything like that, or at least it's bearable to me. I don't know about everybody else and their sensitivities, but ultimately, Yes, I would definitely recommend Creole Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil. If you haven't tried it, definitely go ahead and try it. I'm curious to know, have any of you guys tried Creole Essence? And if you have, what is your favorite scent? Or what products do you use? I noticed that they have a whole line of hair care products, including shampoos, conditioners, and all the above. Obviously, I'm interested in growth serum, so that's what I went ahead and tried. Have you guys tried anything else? I would love to know. Drop your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.